Dang, girl. Oh, hello. I like that dress. What is that? Versace? Gucci? Louis? No. That's design. It's got to be designer, right? <laughs> Victoria's Secret. <laughs> it's a nightgown. <laughs> anyway, what's up guys? Good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. We are up and at it again. It's so weird. Like, I used to wake up really, really early at home, and then lately, it's, I've been more of like an 8 a.m. guy, and Chelsea's kind of more of like a 9 or 10 a.m. girl. But um, we've been up at 6 a.m. every single day this trip. I'm thinking that we need to keep this up like when we get home we need to keep this up keep getting up at 6 a.m keep rising and grinding and killing the day but um anyway today is kind of a bittersweet day we are going to be leaving this incredible view this incredible room we've had so much fun here but uh, at the same time the trip is not over yet we are heading over to bora bora we're going to the four seasons and it's going to be a great time the sun is just starting to come up you can see the reflection underneath the bungalows over there i'm out here taking pictures of this girl she's up there modeling looking like an angel first time staying in an overwater bungalow what would you rate it uh out of a one through ten i would say like a 25. a 25? i thought it was gonna be nice that's that's pretty solid honestly i mean we obviously had high expectations because this is like the vacation thing that you see everyone talk about and it exceeded every single one of them Everything. for sure without a doubt like this has been so good and uh, honestly, it's been more affordable than we thought it was gonna be. We're actually gonna make a video going through everything that we've spent on this trip, be completely transparent with you guys. I think that's gonna be kind of cool. But um, anyway, like I said, 7 a.m., we wanna leave for the airport around 9.15, or leave for the ferry and take the ferry back and then go to the airport around 9.15. So we're gonna go get some breakfast and um, say our last goodbyes. What the shell are you doing? I don't want to go. We get shells when we leave? That's I nice. Know, that lady asked where we were going and she said, Oh, you'll love Bora Bora, but it's a different kind of beautiful. I was like, I like this. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> so this is the Tahiti Airport in its entirety. They have an international terminal, but this is the domestic terminal. They've got uh, two gates, one right there and one right there. You are encouraged to show up for your flight at least 20 minutes before it depart. And we're here like an hour and a half early. Yeah. So we, we, over, we need to be more on island time, but this is chill. Interesting enough, these flights do not have assigned seats, so make sure to get to the airport early enough or buy the priority tickets to be sure you're the first on the plane so you can choose where you sit. One side always has a much better view than the other. Usually it's the left side, but always make sure to ask your flight attendant because sometimes they'll take a different flight path. Now, Bora Bora is only about a 45-minute flight from Tahiti, and there's only one airline that operates it called Air Tahiti. Because of that, it's a pretty expensive flight. It's around $500 round trip per person but it's the only way to get there and let's be honest this view is worth it this is an airport are you kidding me Oh man, so they have all the hotels all lined up right here wow. for the Four Seasons girl. Let's go. So you can see over here, uh, the airport is actually on an island. You have to take a boat to your hotel or to the main town of Vitape. They just gave us these. We just put these on our bags yep. and then they're going to take care of them. We don't have to just get on the move boat them and live our best lives. We literally just put those on the bags and then walk away and they're going to get them for us later. I wish we could explain what a special moment this was. I don't even think a video or a photo or anything else could ever convey that feeling you have when you board the Four Seasons boat and cruise through the lagoons of Bora Bora. There it is. Our home for the next few days right there. These ones out on the end of the pontoons, those are insane. They have a pool and everything. We are not going to be staying in one of those. We're going to be in one of these in here, I think. Oh, this is so beautiful. Mount Ot Otamanu, I think that's how you say it in the background. Oh my goodness. Every guest at the Four Seasons Bora Bora gets this personal check-in experience and a tour of the property, but little did we know, they had something extra special in store for us. So Nicholas, 
our uh, attendant kind of like person that like gets us from the front desk and shows us around the resort and everything else. By the way, I love him. Yeah, he's super cool. He just said that we have the room furthest away from the entire resort and it's totally worth it. I think we may have been upgraded. Oh my God, that would be so exciting. I didn't book this room. Four of them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can take that. I know it's heavy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow. Are oh you, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Look at that view, Chels. What's very nice is uh, the view from the... From the oh! oh. So here you have, the, you have the little chilling area. Oh. With this one. What? <laughs> okay, so not to say this in a rude way, but Nicholas finally left. He was so nice. He was number Absolutely number. love him. He's a gym. He checked us in. We had to do some paperwork. He gave us a, a map of the resort and everything like that and just basically makes you feel at home, which he did a great job of. But I was wanting to scream the entire time. God. Chels, I promise you, I did not call for this. So when I was planning this trip and I knew we were coming to Bora Bora, I knew we had to stay at the Four Seasons. Like when you look at the reviews of all the hotels, the Four Seasons has been number one for like 10 years yeah. or maybe even longer than that. And then also just like we always see the Four Seasons, like we've hung out there a little bit in St. Kitts before and stuff like that. And it's just like, they are the name brand of like luxury upscale travel, like yeah. the, the best of the best, the creme de la creme. So I was like, we've got to do it. I reached out to their social team and I was like, hey, my girlfriend and I make YouTube videos. If there's anything that you recommend or do anything special like for our anniversary and stuff like that we'll be happy to record it happy to you know kind of make videos about our experience and they came back and they're like hey we'll give you two dinners on us one anniversary dinner and then another one at um polynesian show. a polynesian show that's what it was so polynesian dinner and then a nice anniversary dinner will cover your fee to transfer from the airport and i think that was it i think they also offer the high speed internet so that's all i was expecting and i was like that's awesome that's like I'm, I'm excited yeah. about that and now we have this like i I, I don't even know what to say. I, what? We were coming up. Sorry, that was just our super nice, really friendly porter bringing our luggage for us that we didn't have to roll from the boat. You know what I mean? Like, life is hard. No, but seriously, when we were on the golf cart, we were going and going, and like, I read reviews online and they were like, book the west pontoon because then you can watch the sunset in the west at night and we turned on to the east pontoon and i was like shoot we aren't going to get those sunsets and then we kept going and kept going and eventually he's like yeah we actually have a surprise for you guys you're you have the room that's farthest away from the resort and i was like that's not a surprise that's wait, cruel. <laughs> wait a minute yeah we gotta walk this far what is this and then he's like there's only four of them in the entire resort and i was like i knew right away i knew this is it do you remember we were coming in on the boat and we said these ones out on the end of the pontoons those are insane they have a pool and everything we are not going to be staying in one of those i'm blown away I, I gotta take a minute to calm down i man this is insane we have a a chocolate pineapple, is that what that is? Some macarons, so. chocolate covered strawberries. I, I cannot believe it. So we've got a handwritten card here. Your Honor, Mr. Martin and Miss Creener, a very warm welcome to the, uh, to the resort and many congratulations on your anniversary. Wishing you both a very pleasant and relaxing stay. Sincerely, Assistant Director of Rooms. Wow, all right. So four years together. I, we haven't killed each other yet, that's exciting. Boom, Still look at that. Baby. Oh yeah. And uh, it looks like, is this actually, is this chocolate? This is a chocolate pineapple. Yeah, but I can't tell if we're supposed to like crack it open or if it's all chocolate. I, I think it's know. all chocolate. That's chocolate now. That's 100% chocolate. Yeah, but like does it, sometimes they have a kind that like crack open and there's like something in it. I can't tell. Well, we'll have to crack it open. Yeah, I want the strawberry. You got some though. strawberries and stuff here. Go for it. Oh, thank you. I'm going to have one as well. Not bad. Mm. You know, decent. If anyone was wondering, it's this absolutely is my delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And now we've got to get to these goodies here. Wow, this is insane. All the flowers and everything are real. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Barons de Rothschild. 
produce of France. I don't know anything about that, but French champagne in a beautiful bottle, it's gotta be good, right? I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, I've got a feeling this is some really, really good stuff. We spent the afternoon sitting on the deck, drinking champagne, and opening more champagne. You can tell we definitely enjoyed it. After you, my love. Here we go, I'm so hungry. So it is currently oh, fish. 6 37 p.m. way earlier than I thought it was. We checked in around 3 30 so it's been three hours and I'm gonna be 100% honest with you we didn't do anything but drink champagne on that balcony and just hang out like it was too beautiful at least you guys saw the time lapse we were like hey we should at least like get a little bit of footage but just the fact that we were put in that room now that I look at this I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see anything because it's so dark so I'm gonna cut this off really really soon but I mean I, I still don't think it's set in with us like we were talking about it we're trying to take as many pictures and stuff as possible because we're just like we're not gonna realize this is real until a few days from now but anyway we are taking the long trek because they had just had to upgrade us we're taking the long trek over to uh, the casual dining place and we'll let you guys know how it is. Thank you. You're welcome. The Sunset Restaurant and Bar. Yep. So this is the one uh, casual spot on yes. property. Everything else, you need reservations and it's a little bit fancier, but this should be good for a first night. So um, for a casual spot, <laughs> we are on the water. Everything looks black for the people behind the camera, this but cool. this is... Uh, this is right on the water. Dinner was great, but it was super dark, so you guys couldn't have really seen anything. So, um, back to the room. Really, really good dinner. Had a great time. And that was like the, the quicker, casual place to have dinner, which is awesome. It was really, really good. We just came back. So, the champagne and everything that we had earlier, they set out for somebody to come pick up. And they had our turn down service, which, oh I mean, to us, like, we, we don't do stuff like this. This is so cool. Um, our, like our sunglasses were out, so they left us some Four Seasons sunglass cleaners in case our sunglasses were dirty. Yeah. Everything is, I mean, we didn't really touch anything, so everything was already clean. But if we come over in the bathroom, we, like, very briefly unpacked. You guys can see we started to unpack here. Yeah. They took our bathroom kits and they put them on custom Four Seasons towels, both of them yeah. on each side. So we have special towels to go underneath our bathroom kits. And then if you come to the bed, on either side, they put our Four Seasons flip-flops and little mats. So when we wake up in the morning, we can just put our flip-flops on. Well, that's because I don't want my bare feet touching this really yeah, nice wood. Yeah, it makes me really uncomfortable. Anyway, I think we're gonna call that a wrap. I realized today was a bit of a travel day. It wasn't the most exciting day in the world. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot more exciting. Yeah. We're gonna actually tour the resort. We didn't yeah. really do that today because we got here kind of later and we also kind of wanted to enjoy the... Yeah, we wanted to enjoy the room. So tomorrow, 8.45 a.m., pickup time for snorkeling. Yep probably the best snorkeling in the entire world. Like yeah, this is the it. spot to do it. It's supposed to be way better than Morea was, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. So that's 8.45 a.m. through like noon or so. Yeah. And then after that, just kind of hanging around the resort, exploring, yeah, doing whatever. We're going to see what we have going on there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to see you guys in the next one. Catch you all later. Peace out.